So we got Input Shaper tuned in and we have those nice graph now and we have those recommended acceleration from Clipper. Those are maximum recommended acceleration. Should we trust Clipper and just try them? <laughs> Let's try, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at those input shaper graph for my VZ235 and as you can see on the screen here, this is the x-axis for uh, the VZ235 I have 50k, MZV is what Clipper recommends and this is going to be, uh, hold on, this is the y-axis 35.5k. We're going to use the lowest amount of x of acceleration, so 35.5, I'm gonna use 35K to do this test, and I'm gonna print a functional part that I'm gonna use for my 300% scale print head that I'm currently working on. So this part will be uh, installed on the print head, and this is a little denser, the or the drunk man, <laughs> it depends. Um, and we're gonna slice it at 600 millimeters per second, which at 35K, should be pretty fast and we're going to use 35k everywhere outer wall inner wall uh, the only thing is first layer we're going to use 5k just to make sure it's good consistent very good first layer so let's just launch this print and see how it's going to work and if we can uh trust clipper with the maximum recommended acceleration let's just print it
print is done, let's take a look. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yep. All right, let's take a look. Let me bring it closer to better lighting. And that is that is a smooth surface. I like it. It's a little weird. It has some kind of weird pattern on it. I'm not too sure why, but overall for that speed, surface quality of the walls, um, it's very good for, for the speed. I'm totally okay with the, the quality of the part. I mean, I will, I will use that part. It's totally usable. Is it, is it strong? Yeah, it is very strong. So layer adhesion is probably good. Let's take a look here. Quality on those. Round circle looks circle. I like the surface finish. I just need to clean that glue out of it. But other than that, I'm happy with that. And I printed a second one um, right before this one with the same settings. This one is cleaned and it printed awesome as well. Um, just a bit of um, maybe ringing, but I think that's because of the angle here. Um, it was printed at 45, so at some places, the way the angle is with the arms, it's probably at an angle where one motor spins really slow. But other than that, it printed good. Um, so should you use the maximum recommended acceleration? <laughs> I would say it depends on the part. This part was a perfect candidate for super speed because it doesn't have any uh, huge details. It doesn't have any sharp angle. Everything is round, everything is nice and smooth. So printing with high acceleration on this one is very good. So this one was a very good kind of, if you have a smaller part or if you have something with lots of details and lots of, of sharp angle, then um, your higher acceleration might not be a good thing. But for this one, I'm totally happy with that and I could print tons of these and and what I'm more surprised about is the smoothness of the surface. It's so smooth to the touch. I can't believe that. Probably because it was printed so fast that it smoothed out the the layers. I don't know, but it turned out pretty good although you can see those artifacts on on the top layer, um, worst thing, worst case scenario, I could have lowered the speed down instead of 600 millimeters for top surface, I could have lowered down to like 400, 300, and it would have come, came, come, it would have come out perfect, I think. It, it's already very, very good. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with that. So anyway, that was it. That was a, a, a super fast print. Um, just showing you that we can print very good parts even at super high speed and they will be um, great quality. At least that is good enough quality for the purpose of that one. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate that. Um, see you soon on the next one. Have a good night. Goodbye.